Okay, so I look a hot fucking mess, okay? And um, I look a mess. I'm late to my damn appointment. Basically, for my job, you have to have all your immunizations. So, like, all your chicken pox, all that stuff, whatever cases that you're supposed to have as a child. You know what I mean? I had chicken pox. I had the chicken pox uh, vaccine, but my mom just can't seem to find the documents or whatever and um so now i have to go get the chicken pop uh i gotta go get it so um in order for me to go out on my project because i work in the hospital you know i don't know if you guys know i think i told you guys so anyways um yeah i gotta go to cvs and go to the mini clinic and I'm on, I'm on my way there now but I look like a freaking a fool right now like this hair I didn't couldn't even put no heat on it or anything oh I just seen the police y'all hopefully he don't come over here please don't come over here sir cause I ain't got time bitch I ain't got time okay what's this prank oh look at this G-Wagon hold on what's up with G-Wagon uh, 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 uh. we be vibing one day they from Texas Everything is bigger in Texas. That's that. Um, what else is going on today? And my mama irritated me just now because why is it why do it take all of this for me to for you to give for you to look again? Just look one more time. Cause I had to have my freaking um uh, why are they texting my phone like this? My cousins is going crazy right now in the group chat. I'm gonna get up off here because I'm looking raggedy as ever. Once I do something to myself, then I'll hop back on here. But for the meantime, I see y'all later. I really don't like being late. I know people think that I be late all the time, but I really don't like. I don't. I might be late sometimes, but I don't like being late. Not for like my appointments and big things I gotta handle. And then my like I told y'all, my mama irritating me like because why are you not just looking for the paper for me but she did say she feels sick so you know i'm like you know i don't want to i don't want to make you stress i don't want to stress you or nothing but like i don't even want to be doing this like if i go get a chicken pox thing i know i'm gonna be uh sick and i'm gonna i know i'm gonna hurt i want to know what the symptoms are hey siri what are the symptoms for chicken pox vaccine vaccine may include soreness, redness, and swelling where the vaccine was given, a mild fever, and a rash, which looks like chicken pox but with fewer spots, can occur about two weeks after the vaccine. Two weeks? Oh, never mind. Shut up. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, yes, yes. Like, word. I just want to find the paper because this is some bullshit. I just don't want to get shot. I'm tired of getting shot. My heart done got shot. Everything gets shot up around this mother. Man, she ain't call me back and I'm already here, so I guess it's a dub. I guess it's a fucking dub. message over to the nurse practitioner and let her know exactly what you're looking for okay and she's going to be giving you a call back directly um, at 404-940 okay thank you so much no problem thank you for calling minute clinic you have a wonderful rest of your day okay you too bye-bye okay guys hold on two seconds but i don't have enough fucking cash hold on Thank you. Thank you so much. You have a good day. I wish I could have tipped him. Man, fuck. Y'all see these apartments right here? Oh my goodness, I wanna live there so bad. 
looks so beautiful, man. Whew, I'm, I'm just... Well, those are my favorite apartments in Atlanta. Oh my God, an even better view. They just so bomb. I love that smoke gray, like, floor to ceiling windows, all that. I just love it. I mean, even those apartments that they building right there, they gonna be fire too. Is that gonna be apartments? It looks like they gonna be apartments. Yeah, that's gonna be apartments. They gonna be fire too, but the accent is probably the, I don't know, that one is nice over there too. I don't know y'all, but the accent is where I'm trying to move to. <laughs> All right, here's the epic battle of adulting, putting away groceries, spent $70, got $20 worth. Ugh, the inflation is crazy. Thank you so much for joining. So if you like me, you trying to save a coin or two, then hit the subscribe button because I have DIYs and tips and tricks on how to save your money, your coins, um, when it comes to self-care and maintenance. You know what I'm saying? Um, you don't have to spend all that money. You can if you want to, by all means. I'm just very frugal with my money. I'm a 31-year-old girl out here just trying to make it by myself. And um, I know that sometimes, even so... Even if you, you usually do do high maintenance, you know what I mean? If you ever catch yourself in a in a tight spot where you like, you know what? I still need to do X, Y, and Z. I still want to feel beautiful and pretty about myself. You still can on a budget if you need to, if you ever have to. Um, so if that's something you would like and that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button so I can show you the way. All right, guys. So these are the press-ons that I picked up today at CVS Pharmacy. Um, I like to go with these type of colors, you know what I'm saying? It's about to be fall, so, you know, these are my colors. This right here is my favorite, the Bare But Better. Honey, these are my favorite, and they last, like, literally two, maybe three weeks if you do it right. Glue's already included. It's going to have a foul. I already have one over here. I have a, I have another one, an actual real foul, and buffer but i don't know where they're at so we're just gonna do what we gotta do um which one should we wear uh i mean which one should i put on these is my favorite these are a fall color too let me okay but then i also have some blue nails the, the blue ones everybody loves when i wear the blue ones the blue ones was given but i think i'm gonna wait until it gets real until it gets really really fall i'm gonna wait on these i'm gonna wait on these and i'm gonna just do something natural Okay, friend, let's get these nails a little TLC because it's been about two weeks since I had some press-ons on. So right now I'm just buffing the nails. The key to a long-lasting nail is to buff the nail and also cut the cuticles because when you take a shower, that water be dripping and it be like loosening up the glue. So make sure you are cutting the cuticles, but it also makes it look natural, you know what I mean? So you're gonna see me here, I am putting on my press-on, but before I apply the press-on, I use the fowler and I kind of like make it a little um, rough in the inside, kind of like, you know, like a little stuffed up. And then I, you know, of course, put the glue on and I let it sit for like 40, 50 seconds. I know some people say 20 seconds and some glue say you can do it in 20 seconds, but if you don't want no bubbles, you're gonna sit there and hold it for at least 40 to 50 seconds, okay? You don't gotta do a minute each one, but you can. If, I just don't like the bubbles, okay? So do you. What well, already say? Eh, 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 eh. Let me say this. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But no, listen, ladies. Shape the nail. Do not wear the nail how it comes out of the package. 
literally shape the nail and make it like sharp as bounce. Not sharp. You know what I'm saying, okay? Okay guys, so for my eyebrows, sometimes I go, the last few times I went and got them uh, waxed, but I really like how threading is on me, but lately I haven't. The lady that I used to go to that threaded my eyebrows, I can't find her no more. She don't be at the same spot. So what I'm gonna do today is just clean it up. I ain't gonna do too much, okay? So um, I use this by Nair, it's Nora Skin Renewal. Um, let's see, moisturizer restores. Oh, long lasting. It's for your face, so you can use it on your face. All right, so basically what I do is, look. So I use a little spoolie and I brush my eyebrows up. I'll then come in like cutting some of the eyebrows that's like going over too much. I don't try to do too much, but I like cut a little bit of it up, you know? And just kind of like shape it. And then I do the same thing on this side. So this side is harder because, of course, I am right-handed. But we're going to make it shape. I'm a real natural girl. I literally use witch hazel for my face as a toner. So for the lashes, y'all, if you want to do like the individual look, you know, I'm a strip girl, but I also have, oh, 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 I have lashes on lashes on lashes, honey, and I have individual ones, but I just ain't, it's not giving that today. So I'm about to show y'all what I do, how I do, hold on, which ones I want to do? So I'ma do the so I'ma do these. I was gonna do these, but we're gonna do these. Um it has a little natural little fluff, so we're gonna do these, yeah. I'm gonna cut that part out. One more piece, one more piece. Most people and I do it too, like I have to line my lash first, but I definitely suggest you gotta you have to measure it to your eye. So because I'm doing it under it. hold the lash like this but I hold it from here instead of the other way so I can just drop it and I lift my eyelash up like that and you see it's, it's just hanging oh shoot it's just hanging and then you go under and you just position it like am I doing too much I like it last thing I don't already pop the wig on and we're just gonna hit this with a little heat
30 hertz straight up. And that is it, ladies. Something very quick and simple. Literally, probably took me maybe 45 minutes. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Smash that like button, baby. Hit that subscribe button for more awesome DIY tips and tricks. See y'all, I'm out. Peace.